Welcome to the exciting and new podcast mini. I'm Jason. I'm Andy. And I'm Ryan. He's out of breath. <laughs> I was doing a lot of drumming there. This is a mini, probably going to be a maxi, as Andy likes to call in the business. <laughs> you know, it's been a, it's been what three been, or four weeks, as the kids say in the business. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It so we have a lot to talk about. Lots yeah. of lots of. Um, I guess not content's come out because I've watched some old stuff. Well, but there's been a lot of, of content stuff. that's new. We got some old. We got a little bit of everything. Little old, blue, borrowed, How whatever much? else you need. Little bet. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. I saw Bullet Train. <gasps> I saw Bullet Train. I did. I'll see say this train. much. We're not going to spoil anything for you. I loved it. I recommend going to see it in the theater. Yeah, I, I liked it a lot, too. And it does feel like a theater experience would be beneficial to it. It's very loud. And uh, co- colorful, and is it like snakes on a plane? I never uh, saw snakes. No, on I never a plane. saw snakes on a plane. Uh, you know, you it never felt- saw snakes on a plane. <laughs> I did not. Sorry, no, I didn't see snakes. The classic, the Oscar, <laughs> the Oscar nominated snakes on a plane. That's a great movie. Uh, uh, you say so, man. Snoop's in it, right? <laughs> yeah, and uh, Samuel but Jackson. But was it get these snakes off oh, but, my uh, motherfucking plane? There it is. <laughs> No, I never did saw Did they it. get Sam Jackson in that movie just so he could say that? They're like, we'll pay the extra million. We need Sam Jackson to say, get these motherfucking Sam snakes. Sam Jackson on does. Board. I think if we looked up his INDB, is probably in the several hundreds. I think high. I think money-wise, he's the biggest box office star of I all time. So I mean, too, he yeah. benefits from being in Star Wars and Marvel. But you know, And speaking of snakes, Black Snake Moan, did oh, you see very that? very good movie. Great movie. Yeah, I did with not see that. The Christina Ricci, Ricci yeah. is awesome not, in that movie. I did not see that. <laughs> a young <laughs> Misty. Yeah, yeah, I love her, too. What was I looking up? Uh, Bullet Train. Bullet Train. What was I looking at that for? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you were looking up <laughs> snakes on a plane. Something, on that. something along those lines. Uh, Samuel Jackson, oh. what is a oh, total is uh, box. But I was going to say about people. Bullet Train, it feels, um, I mean, it's obviously Japanese influence. I think it's based on a Japanese book. I believe not it a, was not based a, on a manga. Or I, one I don't even things. know if it was a, a, a graphic novel or anything like that. I think it was just a book book. And uh, He has 206 I, things he's acted in. That's how many bones you have in your body. That's crazy. What? <gasps> you should just stop. He needs yeah. to stop. <laughs> Um, but it feels very um, you feels know, very black Japanese. Snake the Japanese feel moon, to it. You know? <laughs> but I heard there was like a little issue of whitewashing with this, since in the book everybody's uh, a Japanese yeah, I heard person. That as well, oh. you got Brad Pitt, you got Joey King, you got Bad Bunny, you got Kamiko. I don't want to talk about some of the other people that are in it because I think they're Is unknown. Kimiko in it? Yeah, <gasps> from the boys. Yes. But you know, there are some actual Japanese people in it too. But isn't Kamiko Japanese? That's what I'm saying. There are South some Korea. actual are some Japanese listen people. Listen to what he's saying, bro. Maybe she's Chinese, or I think she's actually Japanese. Though oh. I think they point that out on the boys. Oh, okay. Although, is a Japanese person a, able to play it's a Chinese based on a person? Book. Like, so it is a book. A book, book. Yeah. Like I know that you can't play anything that's not your actual nationality nowadays. So is a Chinese person able to play a Japanese person, or is that frowned upon? Well, I'm I'll not tell sure. you this: uh, Lou Diamond Phillips, who plays a Latino in so many things, La Bamba, he's Filipino. I thought oh, he was yeah. like Native American or something. I do remember, like that. Yeah, he plays I do remember hearing American about that. Too, yeah. But, yeah. And right but now, that was back um, in the day when they would just get a guy that's like brownish and be like, you are everything that's not white. Right you now, like, John you know, Leguizamo is upset because they just hired James Franco to play uh, Castro. Yeah, that's right. I get the f- James Franco. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard uh, that too. Yeah. I think he has a right to be. I think he's got a right to be upset about that one. Yeah. yeah. I don't think James Franco has a right to be cast over God's sake. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't even think I don't even think like Wazama wanted it for himself. He's just saying James Franco. That just sounds what? stupid you anyway. Know, it makes no sense. Yeah. But Bullet Train's a little over two hours, but it doesn't feel like Man, it's a it long flies movie. By. Dana was saying today at lunch that she was like bored in parts. I'm like, I don't know slow. what the hell you were talking I about. That movie. Was... She has to blame it on the air conditioning. Oh, that's right. She was in, in a movie theater with no air conditioning. Yeah, Ew. yeah. I would have walked out. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't care. Give me my money. Back. Give me my money back. Give me passes for future uh, yeah. future visits. Everything. Yeah, that is correct. No, thank you. I'm not sticking around. A two a two hour seven minute movie. In no air conditioning? No That's air insane. Conditioning, yeah. Especially, like, they're always hot, so yeah. you need to have the air cranking. 
Yeah. In fact, when we saw Bull Train, Michelle was cold. You know, I saw her p- pulling her arms into her because you know we're in shorts and, and like t-shirts. This. Oh yeah, I'm like it's beautiful. It's like 65 in here. This is good. And Michelle's pulling her arms into her t-shirt like to keep warm and stuff. Uh, I love a cold movie theater. But uh, uh, Bullet Train's a big thumbs up. Brad recommend Pitt's it awesome. if you can't get to the theater. There's other See people in, the in it. If you um, can, yeah, it may be. There are two characters in it. They're they're a team. And they are so good together, and I hope they, they do. Really are, I yeah. hope they do there's, some kind of sequel or prequel. Yeah. Or, you said team, team, T E A M. There, there is a girl. Two guys in that it. are. She oh. plays young, but she's Joey? not that young. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's like probably twenty five or so. Joey, as I'm saying, not young enough for Brian. No, 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 no. Yeah, <laughs> she's like twice his his acceptable age. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say it was wrong. He just said it's terrible. <laughs> It's terrible that you would share that information. <laughs> um, I'm going to recommend. I saw a movie on the uh, streaming service Hulu. Uh, oh, Hulu! Well, what were you going to say something? No, I was just I was, oh, I was oh. hyping you up on, on, Ooh, on Hulu. Hulu. Um, it's called Prey, and uh, I don't know how much I should really talk about it. I knew what it was about going into it, but I think it's almost one of those movies that if you don't know what it's about going into it, you should watch it because it's, it's on my list. Yeah, I watched the first twenty minutes. But did I you was, like it? I started. To, I was enjoying it. Oh, but yeah, I was, it's I was, super exciting. It was late, so I was like, "I'm gonna fall asleep." Not because I didn't like mm-hmm. it, just because I knew I was gonna fall asleep. So I was like, "That's why I don't watch off. things." Yeah. That That's why I watch Family Guy and American Dad at eleven o'clock at night because I know. Yeah, fall I was stupid for starting it. I was like, "But why yeah, Prey is this? really good." It's a um, Comanche tribe, I think. Um, in 1719 on the high plains of like whatever oklahoma nebraska somewhere out in the midwest and uh the female character and i'm not gonna remember any of their names but she wants to become a hunter because you know it's obviously a male dominated society she wants to become a hunter so she goes out to prove that she's a hunter and uh and she hunts there's a lot of a lot of action a lot of action happens but I think I don't know if not knowing helps going into this because Michelle didn't know. Let's not know then. Yeah, and then like I'll finish. I got I'm 20 minutes in. Well, I'll, you already know, but like a couple is it minutes. Good based on the series, it's based off of. Yes, it's it's the second best one by oh, far, wow. and I liked the second one. I have a lot of love for that. Do you second want to say one. what the series? No, is? No, because or? I think then that that's I think you, it I think you'd be better okay. off going in. No, no, I, I said that's it, what I was saying. I didn't know if that's what I said that to Angelica what today. I'm like, I think you would like this, but I'm not going to tell you what it's about. Just watch it and t- she's going to watch. Yell me, yeah, she's going to watch tonight. So, um, it's ah, it, it's probably too very, late for me to watch it. It's me. very good, very good. Um, and if they were going to do another one with her as a star, oh, spoiler, she loses at the end. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's good. It's, it's I, I'd be down for a sequel that, with cut her. That, cut that. <laughs> what do you got, Brian? Um, so my number one thing I want to no, we're just going around just one thing. We're round tabling it, man. I think we all have so much we got to like take turns just round table. The thing that thrilled me the most was the Sandman on Netflix. I watched episode Uh, one. That's on my list. I got to. I watched episode one and I I said to Michelle, "Listen, here is the premise. I will understand if you say no." And she was like, "No, I want to try it." And I think we both what was really the premise that you gave her i said it you know we're talking about like personifications of things like we're going to be dealing with a person that is dreams and a person that is death and you know they're in the real world and it's going to get really out there and so based on the first episode is really good i watched the whole thing did you watch the you whole watched thing all wow. of it i watched all of it and it 10 think? episodes yeah and it's uh, excellent excellent okay excellent. yeah and now i r- only read a little bit of the uh, graphic novel is it you have it yeah. down here? No, I've never read Sam. Oh, I've okay. never read I'm not a real big Neil Gaiman fan. Like I mean, I have some of his I have sixteen oh two up there and I do have American Gods up in my bedroom because I've been reading that for like ten years because I hit a point in that book where I was like, Ugh. But I did like the show on HBO. <laughs> it's this is uh I I don't know. They did the, the imagery and the oh, story. Yeah, was great. just that first episode with him being trapped in that thing and it's very good. Charles Dance is in it. Tywin, like Tywin Lannister. Yeah. And uh, there was another person who was kind of big in it. A little Chucky Dance. Huh. No, Did but you see the Corinthian? I only watched the first episode. So is the Corinthian a character or an episode title? It's a character. Is he the one that, the is nightmare. he the bad guy? The nightmare, yeah. Yes. You saw his eyes. And now as soon as you said that, that's the other person I was saying in, in 
um, Beastmaster. That there, I saw another person with like no eyes or something like that. That's who I was thinking about. Him. Well, he has and, teeth eyes. Okay, but he had like Mouth black, like whole, like he was looking at one point. And he just saw like black. I'm like. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to put that on my list. I'm going to watch it's it. It's definitely yeah, it's, worth it's, a watch. So far, so good. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep watching and, and each episode, it's not crazy long, but uh, it's it's good. What are they, like an hour? Uh, and even under an hour. Yeah, probably like 50 minutes or something like yeah. that. How many did you watch? Just the one. Just, just the, one? the first one. Right, just right. yesterday. I'll give, it a, I'll give it a go. Instead yeah. of watching the end of Beastmaster. <laughs> I watched that this morning. Uh, you cool. want to know something else I watched this week? Um or did you have something else You're up, to dude. say about that? Batter I'm up. up. Uh, I watched the, uh, it's called Trainwreck, uh, Woodstock 99 documentary on Netflix. Everything everybody's I seen, I've that. also watched. I saw that too. Oh, oh, no, I didn't see it. I saw that it existed. I, I, have, I don't it's watch a, documentaries, a, but I want to watch it. It's that a one. three-parter, and it's fun. I mean, if you don't know what happened, uh, it gets a little wild. I, Weren't you there? I was not at 99. I was oh, in 94. Okay. Uh, yeah, I but our buddy Dan I was not at either one. Our buddy Dan was at ninety nine. He and his girlfriend at the time, his wife now went. Was that when the toilets like filled up? And oh, stuff? they set fire to the whole thing. People, I think I people think, died, right? Yeah, there were like eighteen wheelers set on fire that just like burned there. Oh my god, the whole setup was was it was for <laughs> shit, man. Ninety nine was on a um, it was on an, air, uh, an airplane an air hangar for like, an air yeah. air force runway and stuff like that because the 94 one they had had such a big problem with people sneaking in like they estimate that 50 percent of the people snuck into the 94 one i did not i paid 135 dollars to go to that which in 1994 i did money. not have 135 dollars i don't have that now but i was making like minimum wage i was still going to college so uh <laughs> the 94 one tons of people snuck in so they wanted to make sure the 99 one no one snuck in so this was built like i think you had to like take a tram over there you couldn't just walk yeah. to it it was out in the middle of nowhere so it was fenced in and they outsourced everything like that's one of the guys is saying during the whole thing like they outsourced secured they outsourced food yeah. they outsourced everything so they just jack everybody so jacked up the prices there was, there, there and no one was shortcuts yeah, they didn't know no about one it. was claiming yeah. responsibility for anything it was it was terrible and you know, got to people. It was a hundred degrees out, and they were selling it was water for like degrees. seven dollars a bottle. Seven dollars a bottle of water in nineteen ninety nine, which is like fifteen. It was a hundred degrees you know, so. outside, but then on that black yeah, top, just on, just on oh, yeah. a tarmac, it was it's like cooking everybody. It was like seriously, you were like just burnt and just like. No. It didn't look like a good time, and I used to be a fan of those kinds of events. Like I said, I went to Woodstock '94, went to all the Lollapaloozas, never, and but like I don't mind a single day festival. But the overnight, I never did any of those. That wasn't my scene. I was uh, a young man you know? in 94, not by 99. It was not. I was. I would not have had fun at that. I'm glad I didn't go. And the documentary, again, my love for documentaries, it's three episodes. Should have been two. It probably would have been a better, like, hour and a half movie. And it gets preachy at the end. It gets. Yeah. You, I you mean, Gen Xers, I, I like, just want, you're bad. I just, want, and, I just like more footage of, like, the uh, The, the actual events and stuff, and stuff and like that. And did you see uh, Rich Voss? Did I see Rich Voss? No, was he performing or he uh, introduces like he's like all right, he's like let's get fucking crazy. Mm, it's I like in the beginning of one of them, he like opens it up, opening yeah. up like for like corn or it was or, the opening night. Yeah, oh, or oh, he, he first... hosted it basically. Oh, okay. He went up on the uh, stage. I didn't pick up on that. Yeah, it was funny. It was Rich Voss, but they didn't interview him. <laughs> but it was yeah, it was weird. Like, they didn't interview him. Though, I'm surprised so they weird. interviewed like Rich Voss. Come on our podcast. Like why didn't they interview Fred Durst? Why didn't they interview anybody from Rage Against the Machine or Metallica who came on after and stuff? Nobody like that? from Metallica. Why didn't they interview? To, they, oh, Sher- did, Kirk Hammett. Did they interview Cheryl Crow? They didn't interview Cheryl Crow, right? But or, they showed her. They showed the footage. They showed her getting shit thrown at her. The, the Kirk Hammett interview was from at the time. It was it was on the day. And then they, they were talking to. Didn't they say something to Alanis? Was it Alanis? They said, "Oh, they're throwing stuff at people," or was that to? I know the Cheryl Crow when she was complaining. Like as soon as she walked out there, they're like, there "Show me couple, your tits." There was a, guy, there was a like guy that guy said something to whatever performer was like, "Oh, but they threw it at such and such too, so don't worry about it." Yeah, I don't remember. It, it was, was fine. Stupid, yeah. If you're not a fan of like documentaries, you're not going to like it. But yeah, I'm not a big documentary guy. But I, I love I did documentaries. See that, that but exactly. me, I love especially music docs. I love music docs. They're like that's like one of my favorites. Oh, oh just this uh, past uh, couple days, Christine was watching something and she goes 
She goes, you know what? So I'm watching this documentary and she's like, do you know that the Beatles like stopped making music for like, or doing concerts for like three years. And then all of a sudden they like locked themselves <laughs> into this, this uh, farmhouse and then decided to do this live concert and they wrote all the music for it. And I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, everybody knows that. <laughs> Who's she watching? Uh, uh, what's get it? back. Get, get back. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you know that's, that's like funny. that sounds like Chris Farley. Uh, R- remember when remember you were in the you Beatles? The Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I do, Chris. Oh man, I watched. Um, I uh, I, I watched. Uh, I, two of the people that I work Spit with, it out. one of the two of the people that I work with, one of the people is sitting to my left. Decided we were all going to watch Deadwood again, and then yes. watch the movie together. And so that was right before I went on my vacation. And so I took my little tablet with me, and every night I sat in bed and watched at least one or two episodes of Deadwood. So I rewatched season one of Deadwood. Uh, so have I. Thinking, oh, you you watch it too? Good. Yeah. Thinking that like I'd come back and everybody would have watched Deadwood. Jason watched the first couple episodes. Dana oh, three watched episodes the first. In. Dana watched the first twenty minutes. I was like, "You people suck." Anyway, <laughs> uh, Deadwood is a you know twenty something year old western. Actually, I think it's twenty years old. I think it was twenty oh two. Timothy Oliphant, Ian McShane, uh, Larry Keith, Sanderson, Keith Carradine, Keith Carradine, um, Jeffrey Jones, Ferris Bueller's uh, principal. It's it's great. It is a fantastic Powers Booth. Powers Booth. He's so good in this too. Yeah. But he is uh, the, the Deadwood's so great. I can't wait to watch the other two seasons and then the movie, which I never watched. Yeah, I never saw the movie either. when the movie came out. I was like, oh, I got to rewatch Deadwood because it's been like twenty years and no, I'm that finished, was a couple I'm years finished ago. Watching okay. it, so like I stopped watching. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hey. I know there's other things Hello, out there, baby. but anyway, Deadwood <laughs> season one so far. I don't remember much from season two and three i remembered a Dude, lot Cobra of season Kai one. is coming yeah. out soon i mean <laughs> season five is coming out that'll, September that'll 9th. suck all our time up what else you got brian i'm gonna do three because they're all so similar okay. no one at a time we're going all, around table we've all, well, i have a lot more my voice show. is really getting <laughs> high here why because <laughs> you're so high your <laughs> voice is matching you we've all talked about it but i find i've watched all of all of them and i just want to say rocky <laughs> <laughs> lower decks Strange New World oh. and the Orville, phenomenal series. Or like this year, they now every you're, one you're, of them kicked. You're ass. talking about the new season of Orville because I yes. watched season is this three. three. I watched first two seasons, so the I'll season pick up on that. three. Oh, they're like mini movies. Every episode is like a mini movie. The funny thing about the Orville, Orville is yeah. the Orville started off as like a tongue-in-cheek mocking of star trek and then it became like better than a, star a, trek. a drama like every episode was dramatic i'm like wait what happened here but i think seth how did, was like well you really like it There's how did something something's going around, on something flying around yeah i don't know how did is. season two end i don't remember exactly how it ended that was the kalon war so uh oh, yeah, they, yeah and yeah. everything changed yep so the kalon war was like the second to last ending the kalon war they they won, but then Kelly went back, went in, back time in time and changed and screwed everything. everything up. Back yeah. in time. <laughs> All right. I'll watch. Do they, I, you know what I got to do? I got to watch one of those. The best thing about YouTube these days is like, if you haven't watched a show in a while, just watch it like the 20 minute. Recap. Up till this point, recap, you know, uh, like you're all good to go. Cause I did that before about the start Stranger three. Things. Here's, I did that about the boys. One and two yep. recap. Cause yep. like there were times that Michelle and Logan would be like, oh, Umbrella Academy season three is coming back. We should rewatch the whole series. I'm like, yo. That is like 20 fucking hours like, of television. Like, How about did, we watch a 20-minute YouTube clip? Like, why did we watch it in the first place? <laughs> I guess they wanted to be reminded of things, but the 20-minute the recap's better because then you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, well, I that, agree. That, those 20-minute recaps yeah, are Those great, are much man. better. So, uh, so And can, then Strange New Worlds, I love. Actually, I, I, they, they nailed it. And Lower Decks, is that the cartoon? That's the cartoon. I watched a couple of those. They were, they were all right. I, I thought that. And that's Star Trek canon, too. Oh, is it really? Is yeah. it? Is it OG Star Trek? Is it on like the Kirk Enterprise or? No, no, it's on a uh, California class uh, ship. Gotcha. That, you know, okay. It takes place in a very quiet quadrant <laughs> for Star Trek, and uh, but they reference so much Star Trek stuff. But because it's canon, another Star Trek could actually reference things from the cartoon. Nice, interesting. Speaking so. of Star Trek, real quick, I don't, I don't want to step on your turn to go, but. <laughs> <laughs> this week on i have one of the channels i like the one free movie channel that i have is the drive-in 
I don't know. It's on like my sling in between TBS and TNT. And every once in a while, they hit a home run. And just on Saturday and Sunday was Star Trek from episode from motion picture through. Wait, the original Star Trek all, movie? All, all all the Star Treks, the Next Generations, the oh, Chris damn. Klein, Chris Klein, Chris Pine <laughs> reboots and stuff like that. It was Robert Pine's son. <laughs> Is it? I don't even know. Yeah, Robert Pine who okay. played uh, Sergeant Cotrer on Chips. <laughs> I'll take That's your word for it, man. All right, wow. but yeah, they ran all the Star Treks. So every once in a while, I just Did you know that. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, I would Chris just pop Pine, in every yeah. once in a while and watch like thirty minutes of Star Trek here and there, and it was good. It was fun yeah. seeing that. Chris Pine's dad is uh, Sergeant Cotrere from Chips. Wow. Yeah. Andy wouldn't know anything. I, I have no idea who any of these references are. You know who Chris Pine is. I do know him. I don't know his father. I've well, never seen I don't think he never watched Chips. But. His, fa- his father was on like every episode, right? Yeah, he was yeah. a sergeant. Yeah. yeah, he was the boss. But you uh, would rec- If you saw him, you would recognize him. Yeah, but, he's uh, been in a lot of like other things, just yeah. random what the flip is flying around Are you over sure you're it's not scaring things? me man but <laughs> yes. um no i watched the south park 25th anniversary concert which is really fun and funny dude. now you watch that on paramount plus paramount plus yeah is what it what is it it's uncut and unedited like is it just live it's not it's edited because it's not the full concert I mean, oh, it's really? just an you hour and some 40 of it minutes. Out? Wow, why did it's a full hour thing? and 40 minutes. I think it would have been over because it's over two nights, too. But I think both nights they did mostly the same set. Yeah. I mean, I think everything's in it. I mean, it's just not a lot of this in between stuff. Mm. And I don't think it played all of Primus didn't play all of their songs. Ween didn't play all of their songs. Was but this you, a live event? It was at Red Rocks. It was, it was at the, Red Rocks. Uh, 25th and, uh, anniversary yeah. of South Park. And they had Ween Primus. and Primus there. That yeah. sounds cool. And this, yeah, and uh, and Trey and Matt were there, and they like and they, sang. They sang. I think like, what Ween opened with like four songs. Ween did and, like four songs. Primus did a bunch of songs. Then they did like the theme song. Primus did the theme song. The different or uh, different. I uh, saw that part where they were doing. This is what I originally did. Yeah, and then they the studio came back and said we want something like faster or something like that. And yep. then I did this and he did the <laughs> what it is. But the original one that he did. Is now the closing theme that, but yeah, it was pretty, yeah, it was pretty cool. Like just the like the little things closing South Park just, oh. But then Matt and Trey were on there, and they did like Uncle Fucker and like and all had, the movie and songs. They had, uh, and, they had Dean Ween singing. They took Joe Biden, took her, <laughs> they took her too. So I great. didn't. I saw like the Comedy Central ran. It on Saturday night, I guess. I didn't see it on Comedy I, I Central. I saw like yeah. a bre- I saw like five minutes of it. And right. I was like, no, Comedy "Oh, Comedy Central was supposed to air it." I was yeah. like, "I'll watch this on Paramount Plus because I wanted to see it unedited." That's right. They bleep something. I was like, "Nah." It was unedited. On, uh, it's definitely yeah. unedited on um, Paramount Plus. Yeah. Nice. So, <laughs> why Jason and I didn't go to that? I don't know. I guess the cost was prohibitive. But no, I looked it up. Tickets were only like a hundred and some dollars for why the show. We go? We but I know we could have stayed at Anthony's. We know a guy two nights or whatever or whatever. <laughs> I'm sure he would have uh, made us eggs in the morning, even probably. <laughs> you know, he looks like he makes a good egg. He's I, a my good sister egg. and her husband went out to Colorado last month, and she said to me, "She's like, where's Anthony live?" I'm like, "Yeah, he's like right outside of Denver or something like that." He actually might be in Denver, but she's like, "Oh, maybe I'll look him up." So I texted Anthony, copied my sister. I'm like, "Anthony, you, you know, Becky's coming out. Yeah. Pick her up at the airport or whatever." And they met up. They went out to lunch. That's I was like, that's cool. pretty cool. Becky sent me a picture like that next week. She's like, hey, look who, I'm, look who I'm eating lunch with. And it was a picture of Becky and Anthony. I was fun. like, wow, that's, that's really cool. I like when things like that come yeah. together. Um, I While I was on vacation, I, uh, I've i been trying to educate myself more. Educate yourself. By educate reading yourself. books that were things that I probably should have read like 40 years ago, like uh, Dune and Foundation and I finally just read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh. And I'd seen the movie, the Marty Friedman, most deaf uh, Sam Rockwell movie. Like Marty years Feldman? Ago. Marty Friedman. <laughs> he's he's the main kid. He's, um, he's um, damn, I'm spacing on his name now. The Hobbit? Well, no. He's the main <laughs> character Freeman? in in, Gal- in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. He is <sighs> spaced on his name. I remember most deaf is Ford. But- uh, Anyway, so I read the whole book while I was on vacation, and then when I came home, I was like, I want to see if there's like a really good adaptation of this. I kind of forgotten I had seen the movie already, 
because the movie's like 15 years old or something like that. So I found a BBC 1981 adaptation of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and it was like six episodes, and I watched it, and it was fantastic. Really? It's it's, it's a word-for-word um, adaptation. I mean, obviously, it's 1981 BBC. It looks like a shitty Doctor Who episode. Like, you know, <laughs> it's just on like a black, black background, and you can tell they're on a set, and it looks horrible, but... It was really, really did, fun. Did, did the job. And yeah. I watched it and I enjoyed it. And then I was like, I'm going to go back and watch that Marty Friedman um, most deaf version. And I watched it and I was like, this is definitely not as good. <laughs> and it, oh, Zoe Deschanel was in it and Alan Rickman was in it. I was like, it's a good, yeah, cast. It's a good cast. Oh, John yeah. Malkovich. I'm like, good cast, but like, like it doesn't feel like. I don't know. It just didn't feel like. At least uh, you got what you wanted. I I, I the, did uh, way too much. Yeah. Uh, I keep wanting to say Guardians of the Galaxy. I did too much Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. But now I'm reading the sequel book too. Restaurant at the End of the Universe. All right. That's it. You got anything else there, Bri? Um, I watched uh, both Brady Bunch and Brady Bunch, uh, the sequel. Movies? The movies. The movies, yes. Oh, oh those are great. They are fun. I forgot how awesome the first one's re- the first one's really real i mean i don't remember too much about the second yeah. one but the first one's great i think michael i like McCain, the sequel better michael mcbettle Bettle. <laughs> who's the dad uh gary, gary cole old. no 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 i mean who's um the neighbor the bad guy in the second one it's rob oh, lowe oh uh, no uh matheson tim matheson oh tim matheson oh, yeah, right tim yes matheson, okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike, michael mckeon's so oh michael mckeon's the next door neighbor yeah, yeah yes. Mithern, 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 whatever it is mr uh it's something Dittmeyer. 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 <laughs> Dittmeyer. oh my god he was great <laughs> oh yeah i watched um the most hated man on the internet i don't know if i talked about that one that was I, about you know the guy. I, sh- I saw something about that but i didn't read that was the it. guy who started the revenge porn hunter moore i never even heard anything about Such this a douche what a, this guy was a dick about like is he dead no nah, stealing yeah. pictures and stuff and just yeah not giving them back to people and just being like laughing at their basically in their face just has you know. bad things happened to him has he gotten like ball cancer or something like not that not yet but um fingers are crossed <laughs> by a lot of people i'm sure sounds yeah. like a piece of shit <laughs> we've gotten a lot of good uh recommendations tonight i think right yeah i got uh the last one that i got is uh better call saul ended last night monday night uh, final yeah, episode of better call right. saul that little show huh <laughs> Ooh, they, 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 doggy. Not only did they stick the landing of Better Call Saul, but they wrapped up the whole Breaking Bad verse. Yes, Gil- Gilligan verse. It's excellent. The gold verse. When you think about the gold again, when you think about five years of Breaking Bad and six years of Better Call Saul, and however many episodes that is, like 150 something like that of both combined. Yeah, what do you think? Like, 15 that's amazing. years total. Like, would you say in between? Was, like, oh, like. Like how many years did the show elapse over? Or yeah, like I don't think it was even because Breaking Bad I think only takes place over like two years. When did Breaking Bad start? Let well, but see. years like how long has it been going on? You mean or how many in universe years? And like Breaking Bad and uh, yeah, Breaking yeah. Bad was like oh eight or something like that, right? So it's been a long time, fifteen years. Breaking Bad started two thousand eight. So yeah, yeah fourteen so. years. That's uh so fourteen year span. Like and you figure fifteen years to get it started. You know, it's a 15 year span. That's a nice little career to have. Those and two, it was really two uh, solid, solid shows. I mean, some could even say Better Call Saul might be better. I've heard that claim. I don't think it's. I right, don't know. But, um, I think it's very close. I think Better Call Saul had a little again. too much. Um, not that it wasn't just as dark in times as Breaking Bad, but I think it was a little too light sometimes, too. Better and Call I think Saul that, is best, I think binged rather than maybe week the week so it might be good for you watch when you're did you watch breaking it. bad i did so you've watched all breaking bad you I haven't watched, watched any of better call saul i saw the first season of okay better call saul. i highly recommend the whole show yeah and logan when we were in the outer banks promised he was gonna watch oh, do? the final yeah. episode of better call saul with me and he hadn't watched the first episode of better call saul yet he's like we, we found an app that showed how many, like, if I want to watch all Better Call Saul, like, how long will it take me to watch it? And it was however many hours. And then you can plug in, like, I'm going to watch six episodes a day. Like, how many days will it take? And <laughs> he figured it out, and he would have finished Sunday afternoon. He would have been all caught up with one episode to go, and that would have been that Monday night. And then uh, 
so Saturday he had finished season five. So he had to do season six over Sunday and Monday. And he was like, I got it. I'm good. He's like, he's like, that's like eight, 12 hours of TV. He's like, I'll bang that out tomorrow. And then he, he, I came home Monday from work. Uh, I'm like, I came home Monday from work. I'm like, you good? He's like, I'm like, no, you oh, let me down. Man. So he didn't, he, I don't think he's watched season six at all yet. So. I didn't watch any. Yeah. He got so close. He watched five seasons in like a week oh, and then man. didn't watch that last season. Do you think he season. burned out on it real fast? I, I think what, what happened was is that uh, people came back from vacations. So they were hanging out. On Sunday. Out. So he was like oh, hanging out man. with people and stuff yeah. like that. I think they were around. Uh, it was real easy when it was him and his friend. They were just like sitting down here, getting high and watching Better Call Saul. That but. sounds like so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever want to do that, you let me know, right? <laughs> Call my son. Brady, no, Brady's been binging it. Yeah. I, I mean, her, but Logan Brady's said ever that, down. I mean, <laughs> Logan said that he and Brady were right around the same point. Yeah. At one time, I said, is Brady going to be good to watch the final episode? I gave him the six, season six, the first six episodes, and he was able to watch the rest of them on AMC+. Plus. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So did he watch the final episode? I don't know. I, oh, okay. I haven't seen him today, so. So he's got, he had to be close to the final episode. I think so. Time, I think right? he was yeah. gearing up. He wanted to be ready for it, yeah. so. Man, it was a little over an hour and a half, right? It was like an hour and 30 I'm not minutes. sure how much of the show is the show or the commercials because it felt like, especially this episode, and the later you got in the episode, it was like Quick, they, they would do a scene, minutes, commercial. Yeah. Do a scene, commercial. I was like. And can we just say in the past, what, four episodes was she in? Carol Burnett? Carol Burnett. Carol Burnett was in four of the last four episodes of this show. 89 years old. Yeah. Damn. And she was really good. She was absolutely amazing in this role. It was fun so seeing good. her, too. Like, when she first popped up, it's like. She had on those like, big sunglasses, <laughs> right? Like, those big glasses. And it was just like, I was like, that's Carol Burnett. And I was like, nah, because it was black, black and white. It was funny because, you know, when I think of Carol Burnett, obviously, I think of the Carol Burnett show. But. I know a lot of people actually think of her from Annie. She was like the bad guy in Annie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She was uh, Mrs. Mrs. Hannigan. Uh, Hannigan. Hannigan. Yeah. And uh, when when this first episode she was in started, she was all like ornery. She was at the supermarket on her little rascal or whatever. And yes. She was being all mean. I was like, I wasn't picking up on who it was because I don't think of Carol Burnett like that. But my brother in law. You think of Carol Burnett as a silly. As a yeah. silly. But my brother in law, who is a uh, Better Call Saul fan, when we were hanging out, and it would be actually was like, oh, dude, as soon as Carbonette popped up, I knew it was her because it, it was Miss Hannigan from Annie. It sounded just like her. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I guess I don't think of her like that. So I didn't go that That's way. Definitely when I saw wouldn't her. be my first thing to think of her as Annie uh -huh. from Annie. It was it would definitely be Carol Burnett. But, as well. but I saw Annie and my yeah. sister watched it a million times. So I got caught watching it. I've, I remember watching it as well. My sister loved it as well. But back when we had one TV, you know, Annie's yeah. on. I get the You're TV. Like, uh, Be like, God damn it. Well, I'm not going to fucking get up. Mom, bring me Oreos. I have to watch Annie. Uh, I think that's it for me. I can't. I'm sure I've watched. Oh, I've watched like a couple episodes of the new Beavis and Butthead. Oh, I did. Like I the, watched the new Beavis and Butthead as well. Very, very funny. Very, very funny. funny. Yeah. yeah. I forgot I, how funny. I like that they're not making fun of music videos. Now they, they're making fun of like TikTokers. I was like, yeah, that is really, really that's funny. very good the that they're ASMR doing that. ASMR one. That, 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 I, I didn't even know that was a thing till last <laughs> night. I was like, what is this? Oh, man. Now yeah, I like that a lot. Brian, you got something else to talk about? I got one more thing. Oh, you uh, have something you wanted to trash, right? Oh, well, I wanted to trash. There's two things. I okay, do trash. your thing and then trash. Oh, so, you want to trash two things. Harley Quinn, uh, I started, you know, oh, back. Oh, I forgot about that. That's on oh, I saw season three, that, right? right? Yeah. And the first thing I want to trash is uh, David Ashat, the new uh, CEO of Time Warner. Oh, he's the one that canceled Batgirl. HBO Max, yeah. Yeah. I heard yeah. they're like- Best streaming service. I heard they're actually going to like fold it. I'm like, how, how are they going to get rid of all this content that's on Where here? Where is it going to go? This content's going to go somewhere. It, they started pulling stuff off. They started canceling- like, Harley Quinn is they don't they're not sure if they're going to continue with it. And it's just like this guy does not understand his audience. He's and they canceled that girl. And Discovery I heard Discovery Plus. Do you think Discovery Plus is going to yes. be yes? And that's because that's what he was. He was head of that before. I he know, took but over for come all the time on, but dude. HBO is such you, you HBO inherited is such a, HBO Max was put in your lap. Yeah, yeah. and now, he's destroying. Now I've heard a lot of complaints amongst all the streaming services. Not complaints so much as like you know. Things are starting to get tight now. 
You know, everybody thought it was a great idea to just start releasing stuff on their service. Yep. But guess what? COVID ended and people started going out again. I don't <laughs> think every service is going up. Like Disney's like almost doubling their price and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah. I don't know if I need Disney. I really don't. I mean, I'm going to watch She-Hulk tomorrow when it starts, but. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, She-Hulk. If I you start charging me out. like 15 bucks for Disney a week, a month, I'll be like, fuck off with that. I own half the shit anyway. I own every Star Wars movie and half the Marvel movies. Why would I pay for your service anymore? So you better, you best watch out. You don't raise those prices too much. Go. So my other thing is Netflix. <laughs> I, thought, I was, was setting like, him up. I was, I was nervous. Him up. I got nervous. I was like, what happened? Netflix for killing uh, first kill. They kissed first what? <laughs> Now, which one was this? Was this one of the ones you recommended a while ago? Yeah, the the, the lesbian vampire girl and the lesbian. Let's uh, be careful. Hunter. How old were they? <laughs> they were almost of age. Oh, uh-huh. Almost <laughs> of age. I'm just saying, I was, you know, I really enjoyed that series. I bet you. Netflix. And is- it, it had 100 million hours of views. After how, three how weeks, how do you know that? Yeah. I, I didn't even know they were because there's such an uproar of but why. Can't, but Nef- you can't, you why can't figure Netflix out our cancer? listens. You can't figure out how many <laughs> listens we get. Now wait, is this the first, the only season that's been released? Only one? Yeah, right. yeah. And Netflix is killing it, and it's just They're like kissing it, it. It was. They're just gonna kiss it off it, like this. <laughs> exactly. It was in the top ten for so long. It's got a hundred over a hundred million. Was just, it was only one season, views. right? Yeah, it must be really expensive to make if they're just like it's, it isn't. It oh. was it was it was filmed in people's houses, no sets or anything. <laughs> now, the funny thing is going to be like <laughs> Netflix was the place at one point where abandoned shows got a second life, like Arrested Development and yeah. stuff like that. And now they're not even keeping their own shows. What happens to a show like this? First kiss, first. First kill. First kill. You were saying kiss. You're fucking I me up. <laughs> I uh, keep calling it first kiss, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> No, so now it's been canceled. Fits. What happens if HBO wants to like? Well, let's fuck it. Fuck HBO. They, yeah. they can't figure. Out. Let's say Paramount Plus wants let's to say like Discovery swoop Plus. In. Paramount <laughs> Plus wants to swoop in and do this show. Can they? I mean, obviously anybody can buy anything if there's a price, but like Netflix would can, have to sell it. To they, they own the rights to it now, right? Yeah, they but can't just once like, they release it, like, but once they cancel it. That opens it up. I right? get. I don't know. Like, do they still own the like, rights to it? Stupid Time Warner, like by by canceling Batgirl and everything, they cannot show that. They cannot make a profit on it because they're writing it off. They're getting an insurance claim. It has to be completely killed. No one can ever see it. That's crazy. I saw that they're like, there has to somehow be a leak. They want the insurance pay out of it. And if you're the insurance company, be like, you know it's gonna fucking leak. One of you nerds has that on a flash drive in your pocket right now. Just waiting for the right time. I hope Time Warner crashes and dies. See, I don't because that's HBO, and I like a lot of the stuff HBO does. Well, if they maybe if they crash, but it has and burn, to go somewhere. Someone with a brain or half a brain will buy it and then put you know competent people in charge. What if we put our money together? <laughs> I'm telling you, all these streaming all services within within that's true. within one five years, within five years, there's going to be like three streaming services left, yeah, and they're, they're all going to they're all going to like gobble each other up. You know, You're Apple's right. going to be like, you know what, it's not be fucking like, it's worth it. Be like, we'll sell you all like our content. Forty dollars for this one. It's going to be yeah. forty dollars. As for soon this as one. Ted Lasso stops on Apple, no one's going to watch Apple anymore. I'll be like, Apple's going to be like, you know, foundation. What? Anybody want to buy this? Which was awesome. And Which I is, watched the first by the season of. I have not watched Apple. Because uh, no interest in Ted Lasso or this other. But I've watched all the first season of, of um, For All Mankind. For All Mankind, great. Foundation, awesome. So it's got, and Mythic, Mythic Quest, Quest. Mythic yeah. Quest is great. And uh, Severance. They got good content. I watched the first season of Morning Show. They're still I watched cheap, the too, at five bucks. Yeah, you know. yeah. But yeah. Apple's got. They are one of the cheaper ones. Apple's yeah. got so much money. They might be the ones that just buys everybody else. Instead of saying, fuck it, they'll be like, I hope they we'll buy, buy, we'll buy Warner. Warner Brothers. Yeah, 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 but do you think somebody new will come in and sweep Well, up? if Apple buys Warner Brothers, Apple will be like, uh, yeah. we're putting our own guy in charge. Exactly. Let's get rid of Discovery but Plus. Like, what about a Google, it? like a Google service or something like that? Yeah, Google's not involved in, in the streaming service, the streaming wars at all. I'm surprised they're not. Man. Sony didn't get involved either. It's weird how some companies are just like, yeah, we'll, we'll rent our shit out still. But it's like, are they waiting for like the next, everything else to crash? The next, uh, I think they were you know, smart. The some of these companies were the smart to just thing, say, you know? there's got to be a big cost in starting that and then keeping it up as opposed to just being like, yeah, give us every time you 
play Spider Man on your service, uh, we get a buck or something like that. It's probably just easier to collect the checks than it is to I still think build the infrastructure. Somehow be available. I agree. Somewhere. I agree. Yeah, I was actually shocked Beastmaster was on Amazon Prime. I was like, damn, I'm. I think all- the sequels are as well. Ooh. So you might want to go. <laughs> I didn't read the description for part three because. After part two, I was just like, I don't have do fucking patience is, for this. Is nonsense. Mark Singer in part three? Yeah, he is. Oh, wow. I didn't. Even, I don't even know what part three is like about. I it was so stupid. I was Maybe like, he took acting lessons before part he, two. He did not. Me. Well, <laughs> I mean, he was in V all through the eighties, and he could not fucking act at all. Yeah, so you would say his acting never got better. I can't see him. You know, nine years later, being looking as good with his shirt off. <laughs> yeah, Beastmaster. Oh, Death Stalker too. What? Death Stalker too. Wow. Wow. Wowzers. Beastmaster season one, season two, and season three. There was a TV show. Yeah, like the two thousands that no one watched. I don't oh. Think. Although, if you're saying there's season three, then they did. Beastmaster three in the third installment of the series, Dar the Beastmaster teams up with Seth, Tony Todd. <laughs> Tony Todd. That's not John Amos. Huh. And to rescue Maybe his John Amos brother got King, older by then. Well, he got a little too old after that nine year job. To rescue his bro. Oh, this is a uh, 1996. So this is 20. No. This is 14, 14, 14 years, years later. later. Yeah. Uh, teams up to rescue his brother, King Tal. Oh, Tal. Uh, Casper Van Dien. Casper Van Dien. Do I know him? Oh, yeah, from Starship Troopers. Oh, that's him from Star. Oh, great yeah. movie, Starship Troopers. That is a great movie. They learn that the boy. So, this was is captured Beastmaster the- 3, The Eye of Braxis, right? Yes, that's what I'm reading the description <laughs> for. Yeah. <laughs> Leslie Ann Down. It's not available anywhere. <laughs> it's in that uh, Last American Virgin dead zone. It is. It's like, why don't they make it available? Like, I don't understand that either. It's just weird, man. That is really, really weird. I can't even find Beastmaster 2. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Beastmaster killed the mini pod. But you, but <laughs> you, would, you would really watch that? Again. I would. I would. I, I intend. I will watch it again. There was nothing good about that. There's nothing good about you either. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> oh, I also watched uh, Only Murders in the Building still going good. I, I, st- next, I watched the first episode next week's, of that. Next week's, I'm going to continue in on that. The first episode was decent. It was just set up, basically. It's all I set up. Yeah. I mean, I like everyone in it. I, I, maybe yeah. I'll watch it. What's I mean, that on? Uh, Hulu. Hulu, yeah. I would have never thought I liked Selena Gomez, but Aww. she's pretty fun. Yeah, she's not a good actress, but she's pretty hot. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wizards of Waverly Place was a funny show. Was that her? Yeah, she that? Okay. that was Disney or whatever, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, was she a Disney girl? I didn't yeah, even know that. She's a Disney actress. I thought she was like a singer or something like that. But well, she's that too. Well, I mean, all the Disney. Did she date singers, um, but- Bieber? Wasn't that the one that was a beaver? Yeah, she did. She did. Did she? It, it, yeah. I know she was. She had the beaver. kidney. Sur- she had a kidney transplant, or yeah, didn't something she like that, right? get a kidney she from got, a friend? She got one. Yeah, yeah she right? needed one so to she live. Needed one to live, and her friend gave it to her. So good I for that friend. That, to live. Yeah. that friend's like so. Uh, so I'll be uh, having my yacht stenciled with my. And she's like, on. so you're going to be doing what movie next, Selena? <laughs> We're going to be doing this one. Hey, right? Selena, <laughs> that Hulu show with Steve Martin and uh, Martin Short is not paying for my yacht and my uh, Veil condo. So let's do something else here. HBO I'm, Max Discovery like, Plus. I'm also going to need to walk on SNL with those two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Oh man, who gave you your kidney? Oh no, you left the prostate. That's right. Sorry, yeah. you can't get another one of those. No one took my prostate. Do they want it? They don't do transplants on that. You wouldn't like take a cadaver's prostate and attach it to you? No, I don't know. I mean, I kind of miss it. You, 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 miss, you miss its function. I do. <laughs> my belly's all dry. <laughs> now it's just. <laughs> My 
Um, Yikes! Anything Rama. coming up in the theater that you think you want to see, or what's coming up? I mean, you got uh, Wakanda Forever, right? That's yeah. Coming I'll, up. Sure, I'll sure. I'll, I'm sure I'll see Cheryl's that. Cheryl's going to see that with you. Cheryl, sure, sure, sure. I'm sure I'll see that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'll definitely see that. I don't remember seeing too many previews for things I wanted to I watch. Might, like I said, I might go see Beast on eh, Sunday. It looks kind of fun. To, what's you, that? Eater Selba fights a lion. Oh, <laughs> and it's a gigantic lion. In, in the uh, video, he sneaks, he packs, he takes his fist and punches a lion in the face. But he's just, about, he's not like a superhero. He's just a guy. A guy. He's the guy he's, fighting with his he's family, fighting he's stuck in a uh, monstrous a lion. Wait, this lion just shows up at his house. He's They're in, in like Africa. A, uh, They're like on safari. safari. Oh, oh okay. yeah. <laughs> and it's like in remembrance of their mom or something something too. like that like the, yeah it's, yeah whatever plot you have to whatever plot device you have to do it, to get the it, family it in africa insane. Oh, okay. and they were like wasn't there like warlords in it too like capturing them ransoming his kids or something, <laughs> it's just something. it looks weird <laughs> yeah because then it was like because i think the lion takes out one of them doesn't Probably. it or something like that it's gonna be and like the it pan- just chases the- him into the car into the car and the door just slams and the lion just hits the damn door <laughs> as the door closes it looks pretty intense yeah, so I might go see that Sunday morning. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, you know, it's tough to get out to the movies anymore. I only see it if it's. I mean, Brad Pitt should feel damn proud that I got up off my ass and I'm it wasn't a Marvel was movie or a Star Wars came, movie, and I went when to go came see in that. And you said that you had watched yeah. it. I was like, oh, that's awesome. We and kept then, seeing the trailers, and I was like, that looks like so much fun. Like every once in a while, something. And then like, I got Dana to go see, it, and I was like, oh yeah. And it's weird. Dana how, didn't like the beginning. Uh, oh, Dana. Oh, oh, it's funny how like sometimes. Uh, <laughs> A movie's marketing can actually like rope me in because usually I'm like, I, I feel I'm immune to that stuff. Either I'm going to go or not. Your yeah. marketing's not going to do it to me, but this definitely got me to go. The trailer and I'll, I remember the Martian was the same way. The trailer for the Martian, I was like, that looks what, like with, uh, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. I didn't like that. Movie. Oh my god, I love the Martian so much. I watch it every time it's on. It's on FX like every other like week. It? Uh, um. It's definitely not one of my favorites. I, I probably really? wouldn't go out of my way to watch yeah, it. God, I love it. I but I didn't hate it. Love it. You're oh, wrong. I just thought of another show I'm, I watched. I'm never wrong. What do you got? What do we got? Uh, the Lost City. The Lost that was the uh, City. San, Sandy Bullock and uh, Janet T- Tanning. T- T- what if Channing Janet, Tatum? Channing Tatum? Yeah, and Brad Pitt. Brad Jesus Pitt. Christ, Is this man. New? It sounds this very new, familiar. Right? Yeah, it's on H- I think it's on HBO Max. That cast sounds very familiar. But Discovery I'm not Plus, it. you said it's funny. on? <laughs> <laughs> Discovery Plus, listen, Discovery does like Planet Earth and Blue Planet and all that shit. And I yeah, love cool. those things, but, but that's not HBO no Max. one's paying for a service to watch those. I watch no. those things when like South Park's on commercial. Yeah. I'm like, hey, Planet Earth's on. Cool. I'll watch five minutes of that. Yeah. Then when that goes to commercial, you're like, you I go can't back to stay South on Park. this. I mean, you go like- back to South Park. Yeah. I don't know who's like paying to watch. Like no nature one. documentaries. No one is going to pay. David Attenborough's voice. David shot. Attenborough's voice yeah. is silk, but still. <laughs> and no, he's still doing them. And he's still doing it. He's like 100 years old. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah. I don't get HBO, but I think all these companies have been shocked back to reality. Not just like with the economy the way it is anyway, but. I don't get the, the logic. The, the <laughs> whole yeah. streaming I thing, I think, he, he dried wants up. to go bring up, you know, make movies again or whatever. But you've got a gold mine with it. it's the best streaming service. Plus, they've got so much <laughs> built-in content with like it the makes DC. Zero it sense. makes zero sense. Yeah. I wonder. If, I wonder if someone's going to get fucked up with Game of Thrones. Like, I'm really anxious for. Oh, that's uh, Sunday. I wouldn't House be of Dragons starts House Sunday. of Dragons. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm I'm watching. I'm there. I'm looking. For, I was like, what's behind me? Is no, I'm looking for Game me? of Thrones books up there. I think all my Game of Thrones books are upstairs. I have one up there. We're hoping yeah. that George R. R. Martin releases one and does a book signing. Yeah. That's uh, yeah, lives long that, enough. That's not going to happen. You can't get into it. That's like yeah, going to a Stephen yeah. King book signing. No idiot would do that. I know, but we would try. We would try. We would give it our best shot. <laughs> and if it ended with a Dice Clay autograph, okay, that's fine too. Yeah. Or a cameo on uh, uh, Ice Tea. That was a different. That was a different <laughs> day. Was a different day. But we and we almost we almost got Anson Williams. That's right. He was oh. in. He was in like Jersey City that same day. But, but signing I, a book. Yeah. yeah. I later got Anson Williams book. We were getting signed tired that day. <laughs> really? So yeah, I got him and Donnie Most. Donnie cool. Most. Donnie Most is going to this recent tra- chiller, right? Donnie is, is he, he going to be at this one coming up? Uh, oh, maybe not. I don't. I don't think so. I think I'm. Someone at work today showed me a love boat compilation of stars love boat and i donnie most was in that wouldn't so. it be cool if someone did a podcast on the love boat yeah 
Did, was that why somebody was showing it to you? Because they know you did the Love Boat podcast? Yeah. That's and awesome. he listened to uh, the Fast Times one, and he said he really liked that. I know. What I'm does, a professional what podcaster. Does, right what does he think? Of, like it. What does he That's think right. of like our rapport? Like, do we? He do liked we that. Work, he, he thought well you guys together. were we good. Work, we work well together. All I all asked him to li- listen to it to, to rate the audio, though. But so. <laughs> <laughs> like, we want to know what we have. Like, but no, he he said he liked you guys. The audio's fine, man. I know. Yeah, seriously, I listened to this. And it, it sounds better than some of the like other podcasts I listen to. I have to turn way up when I put this one on. I have to lower, bring it back down because that's too loud. Okay. We don't need to be that loud. That's you true. know what I mean? Because we're at a good. You know what I mean, we're Jelly good, Bean? We're at a good setting. I really think that you can. I think, our, I think I, we sound very you good. Can hear us really well, well. I think we sound very good. Well, well, I'm hoping well, these well. new settings will check. Will oh check. yeah. Oh. One, one, check. oh, all our fans two, out there, two. tell us. Kevin, tell us how good hey, we sound. Hey, Kevin, this week. <laughs> shout out Kevin and Dana. Oh, yeah. Oh, Dana. Now we, we've doubled our fan base. <laughs> and do you have a name of the person? Did you uh, find a person that lives in India or is in the United Kingdom? No, I don't know. Uh, well, how about we have them? If you are in uh, the United Kingdom, right? The, well, the, the UK, I think there's someone from Australia, but definitely if you're in hey, India, good eye, mate. let us know that you're hey, listening to up. us. Because uh, I see it. Throw I another see shrimp on the bobby. Why can't I even hear myself anymore? Yeah, what happened to Andy's Throw mic? another <laughs> shrimp on the bobby. Why are we oh, doing you, Australian accent? I don't know. He said we have a fan in Australia. Oh, I said, in India, right? It's a good day, mate. Guess what? I'll do the Australian accent. I'm going to do an Indian accent. I think no. that would be yeah. frowned upon. <laughs> why I can do one accent yeah, and not the other. Foster, I'm so. not sure why can I can't, commercial, but I right? can. I can do a dumb Australian accent, but I can't Hank do Azaria a dumb Indian accent. Hank can't do it accent. anymore, neither can you. But I don't get why I can't. I don't understand why. They're both being Brian, silly and do you dumb. Have an answer? I have no answer. I don't know. I don't have an answer. Culturally insensitive. Is am I being culturally insensitive insensitive to Australia when I do a mock like throw another shrimp on the bobby? It's false for beer me. Am I being culturally insensitive to Australia? Very much so. And, and why don't I give a shit? Why don't I care? <laughs> but Wait, but they don't up? care either, I don't Wait, think. I don't think was Indians one of us would pulling care something either. up? Well, Indians care enough that they got Hank Azaria to not do Apu anymore. So. I think that was Hank Azaria that did but that. But someone did, like, wasn't there a documentary about it yeah, and stuff like that? Oh, did really? something about it, yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess you can't. But wait, can't weren't do- we looking something up? What happened? You Canyon, were looking something you- up. No, I knew something was, I see we lost it. What happened? I don't know what we were looking up. I was looking at- something up. He put his phone down. Oh, no, I was looking up at, uh, at a text I got. No, you were looking something up. We were talking about something. What were we talking about? Damn it. I don't even have my phone in my hand. It wasn't me. What were we just talking about? We were talking uh, about, oh, our listeners. And we have one in Australia and one in We've got them England. all over the place. No, we don't. Yeah. Well, yeah. if you have five people listening, you can't have them all over the place. You can have them five places. Yeah, how many listeners do we have? <laughs> yeah, let me pull it up here. You got to cut whatever happens. <laughs> Ten minutes before this just happened, that's gonna get all cut out. Because I don't know what happened. <laughs> you look like you don't know what happened right now, dude. <laughs> oh man. Shout these out to Buddy Bites. Fucking watch out for these things, man. I only had half of one and Shout fucking out to bouncing Buddy off Bites, the walls. Dude, you look like you feel pretty good. Oh, I'm high as fuck right now, man. <laughs> Shout out the buddy. I'm the buddy, only dude. sober one. <laughs> I'm going to have problems climbing up my stairs. <laughs> uh, what are these called? That. Buddy buds? Buddy bites. Buddy bites. I'll be getting some more of these. <laughs> Man, I am fucked up. If we can get a sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's who we should be getting sponsored by. Brian, this is a lot of dead air. I don't know what we're doing I know, here. I, I can't get into the stats right now. Oh, the stats. Right, 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 right. All right. But yeah, so. I, I would like to note that we've got, I think we have some decent, uh, steady listeners from India. I'd, I would love to know who it is. And why when can listening. we start monetizing this? I want to be able to retire in the next five we years. We need to get at least 990 <laughs> more uh, subscribers <laughs> yeah, to uh, we, we need, YouTube. We need quite a few more subscribers. <laughs> I think we need to rent one of those um, planes down at the Jersey Shore and just have them pulling a trailer behind. Exciting that. and new. Our Facebook ad campaign. Can we do a lot? Can we? Oh, do yeah. That? Whatever happened with all that? That was where we got all the like the religious hate yeah. going on, right? Exactly. Can we do a live podcast somewhere? Like, and we can maybe get. It's very difficult on the animator's wrist to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was Homer Simpson when he was doing Itchy and Scratchy and Poochie. Can we just do it live? 
animated live is very hard <laughs> on the artist's wrists, Homer. But what do you um, think? We could do a live show somewhere, right? Yeah, tell tell me and, and, and Andy, make Andy understand detail how our Facebook promotion went and failed. So oh, it failed I miserably. targeted people who watch movies and listen in to music, okay. men. And sounds about right. <laughs> apparently, we, over forty-five. <laughs> it just randomly shows up on when people are on Facebook. The ad, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and apparently, a, a religious person saw it and started commenting, and then a not the religious person got it too and saw the religious comments. And and it's right; they should have kept that off of our page. I didn't exactly, want that on there. So. So a religious war on our Facebook page. So we got a Hezbollah. Our- There's a Hezbollah <laughs> on our. It's a fatwa, and that's not being funny because of what happened to Mr. Rushdie the other day. But uh, oh, yeah. oh man, that was crazy. That fucking yeah. sucks. He made it so long without uh, getting stabbed, actually getting killed, and then <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's probably you know, lax now in his how security. How old is he now? He's, in, he's eighty. Be eighty, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, wow. Satanic Verses is like forty years old. I told Khomeini was still alive. Um. Had several Ayatollahs since then. <laughs> Ayatollah asshole, I believe, was one of the <laughs> mottos of America back in the eighties. I remember when we sang. Now you're going to get stabbed. Song. <laughs> I don't think any Muslims are listening to this. I don't think any Christians or Jews um, are either. They've got so, they've got better taste than that. Speaking of upcoming films that we were supposed to do, is Carrie going to do? Uh, she wants to. Yeah. And can the Kevin wall. join us? Will he have the equipment by then? I mean, oh yeah, yeah. We sh- he's got to get set up, so he's still getting set up. So I think he said he had to get his sensors to allow him to get <laughs> yes, his IT his work. What his IT At work? Uh, he has to have. A, oh, he's using his work computer. <laughs> he's using his work laptop, dude. At like three, Kevin at three fifty in the morning, Kevin. But wait, he's Kevin. Is, tell is us, he in our time wait, zone? Isn't he like Toronto? Andy. Kevin, make sure you have your pants on when you're listening to us, please. <laughs> isn't he like in Toronto? That's he's in Ont- Ontario. Well, that's our time zone, isn't it? Yeah, he's up late listening to us. But he's got to have to call into the he's podcast. He's working the hard. A week. He's probably working hard on a case, and he's probably trying to get a. Uh, never mind. I was going to spoil a major show that just ended the other day. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, I was ready to spoil it for some people out there, huh? I was going to yell <coughs> COVID. Maybe he could. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. You're a, twi- a twice survivor of COVID now, huh? Oh, yeah. Do you get a badge for that? <laughs> it wasn't as bad the second time, but it still stunk. Just like most things, once you've done it, once you've broken it in. Yeah. yeah. You used to, you've taken it. It's deep like riding the in. bike, right, dude? <laughs> exactly. Bike with no seat. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you take a deep breath Sit in, down. you relax. <laughs> Namaste. The but, um, master. So that's our next. <laughs> so um, we're not this weekend, right? We can't this weekend. So we're going to go for next week again? During the week. Is Carrie available during the week? Yeah, she should be. I'll find out what day All right, is. Uh, and we're going to be doing uh, the wa- Pink Floyd's The Wall, huh? Pink Floyd The Wall. So come with your best Pink Floyd anecdotes. Luckily, I'm not going to come with a lot. because Luckily, like, I've got a lot. Because <laughs> Andy has a lot. It seems like Kevin's going to have a lot. Carrie's got to have a lot to say with her story and everything. Oh, yeah. Um, and I'm just. She's gonna not s- a big talker, but I'm, I'm sure she'll have something to say. I'm just going to sit oh, she's back. She's on a podcast. She's going to have to talk. <laughs> sure. She's not like Katie. Oh I'm my just God. Katie sit- wouldn't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we it was over two and a half hours with Katie. Yeah, yeah. that's our she, longest one. She did good. Yeah, that's crazy. On was, a movie that was like she, eighty minutes long. <laughs> is she ready to come back on? <laughs> I think Katie would come on anytime. Yeah. <laughs> Brady too. Brady seemed like he had a good time. Oh yeah, he, he, he enjoyed right? himself. Yeah. yeah. Well, we got a lot of good movies coming up. Yeah, I know uh, Connor's excited for The Thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. So We got uh, Creep Show. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen it, so I'm excited for that. Uh, the first Creep Show is really I can't good. believe you've never seen Creep Show. Yeah. I can't believe I never saw it either, but I never did. That seems like right up your alley, because that's also one of those movies that was on cable a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, maybe it uh, scared me off when I was little. I don't know. I was a scared kid. Yeah, you were. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That, that was don't. definitely one of those ones, Creep Show and Creep Show Two. I just remember being real big fan of both of those. Just uh, really, yeah. 
Fun times. You you said you don't really remember I, part two as well, I, I right? don't, but then as soon as you bring up one of the skits, I'm like, oh, yeah, of course I remember, remember that the, one. the uh, raft. And, uh, how about the Cigar Store India? Oh, sure, sure. The Golem. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, the Cigar Store But Creep India. Show 1 is and a great movie. What about the uh, Cockroach? Isn't that how the first one ends? In the yeah. clean room, right? Yep. Yeah. And don't spoil what, it. What about <laughs> Thanks for the Ride, Lady? Thanks for the Ride, Lady. That's the second one. The Hitchhiker. That's the second one. You got the blob in the second one, yeah, right? Yeah, the raft. Uh, um, um, well, we don't have to spoil it. Also, we'll Stephen King has a good one. Is it the raft, uh, Stephen King? That's the beginning of Creep Show 2. Oh, okay. But yeah, Stephen King's in Creep Show 1. Stephen King is. He wrote and acts in it. Oh. And directed it, yeah. I think George Romero directed it. Creep Show. But one. Maybe Creep Show Two, Stephen King. The different did. no different Oh, did segments. different people? Was it like yeah, that? Like Twilight segments. Zone? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe yeah, that's like what that, yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll get to that in a few weeks anyway. So was anyone decapitated during the filming? <laughs> no. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Much no. less decapitating. Oh. Yeah. Maybe eaten by monsters though. Oh. But uh you will be watching Creep Show very soon, and then in October we're gonna go see some people at Chiller yeah, from Creep Show, right? And maybe we could set up a table at Chiller and do some autographs. <laughs> we'll do there some we exciting. <laughs> Let's get a bunch of magnets. And we'll sign a bunch of these hats. Made up. <laughs> I got my hockey signature ready to we'll go. Sign a bunch of these hats. I'm ready to go. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm charging whatever you guys are charging for an autograph. I'm charging ten dollars more. I will give people five bucks. <laughs> For each autograph. I'm not going to autograph, but I will sell jars of my pets. <laughs> You'll only autograph body parts. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm actually going to need to slap buy your a penis few, here on the I'm table. Need to buy a few bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make them right now? Do I have to pay? <laughs> they freeze really well. Oh, good God. <laughs> I think we're winding down. I think this has been the exciting and new podcast, mini podcast. You can find us everywhere. We're on TikTok, Facebook, Spreaker, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Did I get them all? I think more than once. Maybe YouTube as well. (laughs) YouTube. Um, The Jazoo on Instagram, Jazoo74 on Twitter. And I'm Jason. Hey, Gonzo1. I'm Andy. And I'm Brian. Papa Bad Kitty. Shut up, Meg. Oh my God, what?